Good night, good night, have one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Armin Jail Speed Divine. Here give you a word and a show news on tonight. And we we're gonna start with the actors. The actors is going on a strike. You know, the Hollywood actors, you know, strike join right writers and the first industry stopping the walkout since nineteen sixty. You know, so all these actors, you know, it's going on strike. We'll begin midnight. Midnight outside of Netflix Hollywood office, 1960 old contract expired, and the unit asked for a new contract and and uh and more money. You know, so the leaders of the unit represent 160,000 television and, and movies and actors. You know, they announced, you know, their agreement to strike after a uh, negotiation with a new contract. You know, so the collapse with the streaming services and intelligence at the center of the standoff. You know, so they stated, you know, pay your actors. You know, so the unit is telling them, pay your actors. You, you know, so they in uh, negotiation with the unit contract and collective bargain agreement. You know, so they're trying to get an agreement on a new contract. You, you know, so they are. Uh, the new con I mean, the old contract was like 1960, you know, so it's been time for an uptick, you know, so they're doing more for the same um thing they was doing with the old contract, you know, they ain't time, time to change, you know, so the unit had asked for a new contract, you know, last contract was 1960, and I think the last one was like 1980, asking for more money. You know, so the unit do have demands, you know, for job protection. You know, so the rights, you know, right to a fair, independent hearing process if it unfairly disciplined or terminated right to lay off and recall scenario rules, right to um, navigate discipline um, for, uh, proceeding five time off, vacation sick and personal days holiday funeral leave all jury duty you know so this don't seem difficult you know so i don't understand why they couldn't go to you you know have an agreement on these domains here you know this is the main that they have these days on jobs you know so i don't see what the big deal is you know for these domains here you know, so now the last contract was on, on 1980 and 1960, but it's time for an update. It's really time for an update. You know, so back then, if you know, you had to do that. You had all that kind of stuff for, for the work you're doing now. But now you got more work. You got more work, so the unit expect more pay. You know, so now the last contract was 1960, but it's time for an update. It's time to renew a new contract. It's really time for a new contract. You know, one, pay, pay what they deserve. Pay them what they deserve. Pay all these actors, you know, soon as possible. You know, you uh, um, this y'all had a meeting to try to negotiate. You know, you know what the uh, for the new contract. You know, so I guess they could not come on an agreement, so they decide to uh, to go on a strike. You know, midnight. You know, so uh, I also request that they meet your demands because it's, the demands don't seem like it's difficult. You know, give them more money and meet all these demands that they have. Most, uh, most of all these jobs have these demands. You know, so the contract been supposed to be updated. You know, so agree on a new contract, you know, and I request that they meet their demands, you know, and also give them, you know, more money. You know, um and whatever y'all owe them now from whatever, you know, their way, you have to pay them, you know. Pay the actors. Pay the actors what they want, what they had deserved, you know, um, and, and come up with some kind of agreement. 
you have to come on some agreement because uh, this contract is way past due. It's way past due. You know, you have to come to some kind of agreement. You have to do a new contract. And and I don't see what's so difficult about these demands. We, we mostly have these uh, demands on, on, on our jobs. You know, you, you have to meet their demands. You have to give them a little more money. You know, um, and you also have to pay them whatever they have worked in. You know, you have to pay them what they deserve. You know, so that's what I have on the actress. You know, going on strike tonight at 12 p.m. 12 a.m. You know, so I'm gonna come back with that. So I also have a word for you. You know, we in Isaiah. We in Isaiah. You know, songs of praise. You know, I come from Isaiah 12, you know, verse 1 to 6. You know, so God's anger was turned to compassion and his judgment word of comfort. You know, so God opposed suffering will have prepared them for a new and faithful walk with God. You know, so you know, God's anger don't last long. You know, he did with a lot of that with all the Israelites. You know, and he still has saved them. You know, so the same thing had happened to the Israelites. God anger had lasted for a moment, you know, but it had turned into compassion. You know, so in that day, you would say that I will praise you, Lord. You know, although you was angry with me, you know, but your anger, you know, had turned away and you have comfort. You know, so that's what Isaiah said. You know, I said, said, you was a little angry, you know, but you turned your anger to compassion. You comfort me. You comfort me when it's the time that I needed. You, you know, you did not turn your back away. You know, so you have a God that no matter what situation is, if he anger, he anger for just a moment. You know, and he still will comfort you. And he will still be there for you. You know, so Isaiah also had wants to give hope. And meaning, you know, to the people as they experience suffering, suffering, you know, so you know we're going to experience suffering, you know, so Isaiah tried to get them hope, you know, and, and meaning of the suffering, so he explained how they feel once God's judgment had passed, and they again live in righteousness, you know, so whatever God was supposed to come against them with, it had passed, it had passed. You know, I just say he had had just me had passed, you know, and they again live in righteousness. You know, so that's why they're so happy. You know, that's why they, they're praising God. They say God was angry for a moment. And whatever he, who he was going to have against us, it passed by. You know, it's passed by and they're living in, in righteousness. So that's why, they, that's why they, this is the songs of prayer praise you know they're praising god you know they're saying thank you god that it had passed us by you know so um after enduring hardship you know and allowing it to reshape them you know because you know that hardship reshape us you know it, it, it mold us into the person that god want us to be you know so a lot of time he allowed us to go through that hardship and sometimes that hardship might break it, and sometimes it's going to reshape. You know, sometimes you're going you gonna to get broken before you get healed. You know, just like they say, you lose before you win. You know, so after endure the hardship and allow it to reshape them, they will be relieved and grateful for what God had accomplished to transform them. And see, and that's a lot, a lot of time. God allow you to be in that storm, you know, test your faith, and also transform you. That's what he said here. He said, I transform you. You know, I accomplished to transform you. You know, you was in that hardship. You were in that hardship. And see, they was in that hardship. And they still was grateful. They still praising God. Because see, whatever they had. See, a lot of times, prayers work. Praise work. You know, you praise God. You pray to God. You know, a lot of times that turn you whatever adjustment God had on it, it passed by. You know, 
and they're praising God, you know, they pray and they're praising God, they're saying thank you, you know, so they accomplish to transform, their hardship transform them, you know, that their judgment had passed by, you know, so their song of praise resound with the knowledge that God is the source, and see that a lot of times, that's what it is, you know. See, God wants us to realize, you know, that He is our only source. You know, when we go through something, He don't want us to pick up the phone, call someone, call this one that. He wants us to realize, realize in our hardship, in our storm, that He is our only source. That He wants us to come to Him and no one else. You know, because he is the only one that can save it. Uh, 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 nobody else cannot save us. But a, a lot of us, we want to pick up the phone. We want to call someone. Still getting on our knees and pray to God. And remember that he is our only source when we, when we in our hardship. You know, so of all good in their lives, you know, their spiritual perspective changes. You know, and they know joy again. Because see, when you're in that hard time, joy in that hard time, I'm in that hard time, you know, sometimes you don't have that joy. You know, your joy might come and go. You know, Joe was just a, a mess of what he wasn't even keeping up with stuff. His friends come, they couldn't even recognize him. His job was gone, his look was gone, you know, everything. Now they said your, pers your uh, perspective changes. You know, and they know that their jaw, you know, they know, they know that jaw is coming back again. You know, they're praising God because God allowed their judgment to pass by. You know, they pray to God. You see, prayers make a difference. You remember Ezekiel was sick. Remember, he was sick. You know, God told him, you're going to die. But what he did, he didn't go home and cry. He turned his head towards the wall, and he started praying to God. And after he prayed to God, God said, you're going to live. I'm going to add 15 more years onto your life. You're going to get your house in order. Before he was, before um, God said you're going to live, God told him, go get your house in order. You, you know, so he got his house in order. He prayed and everything, and God said, you're not going to die. You know, I'm going to add 15 years on. So, prayers make a difference. You know, so, uh, so people draw express gratitude. You know, so they had gratitude. You know, there was praise, praising God. You know, because God, you know, God was angry with them. You know, at first. You know, his anger had lasted for a moment and had turned to compassion and comfort. You know, he started comforting them. You know, he saw comfort in him, and he let the, the judgment pass them by. You know, so the they had gratitude. You know, so God thanking him, you know, praising him. You know, we all have to share the good news to others. You know, so they, they are so happy. You know, they have gratitude. They're praising God. They say, we got to share this good news to everyone, you know. They, they said, we got to share this. You see, they thought, they thought God was going to take them out. You know, wherever their judgment was, you know, it had passed by. You know, so they had, they had gratitude. You know, they, they was praising. They had so much gratitude. They said, we got, we, they said, this is good news. We got to go tell this to everyone. We got to tell this good news to everyone. You know, now sure that God is our salvation. You know, so I will trust and not be afraid. You know, so this is what Isaiah telling them. You know, so he said, trust God and do not be afraid. You know, the Lord, the Lord himself is our strength. You know, and see, when you're in that hardship, when you're in that stone, when you weak or whatever, God is our strength. You know, God is our strength. You know, Without God, we cannot make it in our stone. We cannot make it in our stone without God. Because, see, God is our strength to keep us going. You know? So, the law himself is our strength and our defense. Now, he has become our salvation. You know? So, God is our Savior. 
you know, and I will trust him and not be afraid. So the Lord give us power and strength. You know, when you, you, when you keep on saying, I can't go no more, but you catch yourself still gone. You know, you know why? Because God is your strength. God is your strength. God is going to give you strength to keep on going. Because, see, God's not going to let you give up. He's going he gonna, to he gonna comfort you. Look at Elijah. Elijah said, I don't want to do this some more. You know, just, just take my life. God did not let Elijah take his life. So God wasn't finished with Elijah yet. He said, you go back with the, the same way you can. You know, I have another assignment for you. You know, and so Elijah wanted to take your life, but God said, no, you know, take your life for what? You know, I've got another project for you to do. You know, God had comfort Elijah and allowed him to go back the way he came. You know, and, 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 and then God gets, give, give him help. You know, so he is our Savior. Now, what a comfort, you know, on those to know that no matter what we are going through, you know, and this life, you know, God will be our Savior, our salvation. You know, now God will be the best thing to save you in this, in this kind of um, world right now. You know, so with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And we about to see what that means. You know, now Isaiah is telling, is telling them that on that day, you know, the day of the Lord, you know, the people of Israel, will find great joy. You remember they lost their joy. You know, they was in so much of that hardship. You know, and so, sometimes it be like that. You know, it happened with, with me. A lot of time I had to find my joy sometimes. You know, because you can't be moping around every day. At some point, we have to find some kind of joy. They lost their joy. So now, you know, Israel, Israel will find great joy in the drinking from the well of the fountain. Of salvation. Now they're gonna be some. They're gonna be some hell of fine um drinking water. You know that they're gonna give them joy. You know, so Israel will find great joy. You know, in drinking from the well of the fountain of salvation. Isaiah compared God's salvation to a well from which the most refreshing of all water can be drawn. You know, so so they're gonna be drinking this water, and then they're gonna they're gonna have joy. Joy, they're gonna be refreshed. You know, so this gonna be some spiritual water here. You know, spiritual waters they're gonna give them life back. You know, gonna give them joy back. You, you know, because a lot of time in your storm, sometimes you will lose your joy. Sometimes you may lose yourself. You know, but you got to connect. You got to keep God in your life. We got to keep God in our life through that hard time. That that's the only way. You know, when we when we move God out out our way and think we can do it ourselves, we will lose. We will lose. You know, so we got to have God in our life during that hard time. You know, and we always say, "I can't go no more." But we catch ourselves still going. Because every God is going to give you strength. He, be, he give you strength to keep on going. You know, so this going to be some spiritual water. You know, so in that day, you will say, give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nation, you know, what he had done. And proclaim, you know, that his name is all forever. You know, so what what God had did for uh for the people under Isaiah, you know, it, 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 they said that's good news. You know, they're so happy, you know, they're grateful, you know, and then they're drinking their water, you know, they're getting their joy back. You know, so they're saying, you know, there was in so much of that hardship, so much of that trial that there was in, you know, God had moved the judgment away from them and said, and they had passed them by, you know. And so they was grateful, you know. They start praising God. They call it good news. We got to tell everybody all over, over, over this world that, that, you know, all the good news, all the goodness that God had done for us, you know. So we need to be thankful, you know, for what God had done for us. 
you know, through his salvation, we can be thankful for the uh, security that we have in him, you know, and the strength that we get from him. Now, we get security from God. We also get strength from God. You, you know, we get supernatural strength. You know, supernatural strength, you know, I'm a need. You, you know, and, and all this, all you know, everything I be doing, you know, um, I could have, I don't know, I used to pass out and everything else, you know. But thank God for the supernatural strength to keep God, you know. Thank God for His grace and His mercy, you know. So He give us security, you know. He give us strength, you know. And we, we get it from Him, you know. Give praise, you know, to the Lord. Proclaim His name throughout the world. And see, we are supposed to be missionaries. We are supposed to be missionary. No matter what we at, you know, when we in conversation with somebody, it always had to go towards God. You know, it always had to go towards God. You know, so wherever we at, all through the world, that's what it said, all through the world, you know, we have to proclaim God's goodness. You know, and see what, what, what um, they say, God, whatever they did, God was angry. God was angry. But then God turned his anger for a moment and turned it to compassion. You know, we have a compassion in God. You know, he turned it to compassion and he comforted them. You know, he comforted them. Well, they were so grateful that, that he uh, lift the judgment off of them and they passed them by. You know, so say to the Lord, for he had done glorious things you know let this be known to all the world now whatever good can be done you know god does his best you know we have a perfect god you know he is the creator of this world you know he do have good taste you know when when he's he he designed that that temple you know what uh, solomon had built you know so he have good taste and he do things perfect you know he he do things in order, you know, so whatever good can be done, God does it the best. You know, we can praise others, but because of God's goodness, you know, he deserves praise. You know, because of God's goodness. God, see, every morning that we wake up in the morning, you know, that's God put bread in us to see another day. You know, so that's praise right there. That's praise, you know. When you step your foot out of it, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for another day. That should be the first thing we, we say in our prayer. Thank you, God. You know, so we shout out loud and say for joy. Now, the people of Zion for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. You know, so the law had come to his feet. You know, the Holy One of Israel is in the mix. You know, so the grace of God brings so many blessings. The grace of God, you know, I bring you so many blessings. You know, but the greatest blessing, the greatest blessing is His presence with His spirit. You know, that's just like me, me on our journey. All of us got a purpose. You know, and we doing the work for God. You know, but the best thing of all, the best thing of all, you know, is working side by side with God. That's the best blessing that you can have right there. You know, the present. Be in the presence of God. You know, and so that's what that's what Paul uh, and that's what we say, but the greatest blessing is his presence. With his people. You know, that's the greatest blessing right there. The greatest blessing, you know, to be side by side with God and uh, working side by side with God and seeing all uh, the grace and mercy and the love and the gift that he will give. You know, so uh, that's all um, I have. The title was that Songs of Prayer, Praise. You know, they had judgment on them. You know, they prayed and God had let it pass somebody. There was just so much hardship. 
so much hardship into God. Uh, uh, you know, God he was he was angry at first, but it lasted for a moment. You know, and then he let it pass on by. You know, and they start being righteous and start living their life. And they said the best blessing it was is being in the presence of God. You know, so we also talk about these actors. You know, this actors is about is where they all strike right now. It's after twelve o'clock midnight, so they all strike. You know, because um, they refused. Their agent, I mean, the junior had went 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 to the production and told them to pay them what they deserve. You know, we need a new contract. You know, they need a new contract. The uh, the contract had a spot. You know, so. So the contract has fine, you know. So we need a new contract, you know. So uh, the um, the actors they need they need to get paid, you know, you know what they deserve now, you, you know, um, and they need to get paid as soon as possible, you know. And I request that you all meet their demands. I just read the demands. You know, it's not difficult. You know, most of us have these demands on a job already. You know, so meet their demands. You know, and three, you know, you have to come to some kind of agreement on a new contract. You know, we have to remember the old contract was like in 1960. It's time for the update. It's time to come to some kind of agreement for a new contract. You know, they need... They need a uh, they need a raise, you know. They need a raise and they need a new contract, you know. So please um, try to demand, you know, come to some kind of agreement with their demand um, that they have, and whatever back money that you owe the actors, that's all we asking you to pay the actors, and please try to pay them soon as possible. You know, and come up with an agreement, you know, for the new contract because the old contract has a spot. You know, so that's all I have for you all um, tonight. Uh, the actress is on strike and the word on uh, songs of praise. You know, the people that's under Isaiah, you know, what they did, you know, made God angry, you know, but he stood angry for a moment. You know, and it turned into compassion. You know, and he let the judgment pass somebody. And they were so happy. So they were just praising God. And you talk about the goodness of God, you know, and everything. And it was like good news. So they want to they wanna spread that all over the world. You know, so that's all I have for you tonight. Y'all have a blessed, safe night. And I'll see y'all on the next video.